If there's one thing that I enjoy more than caravanning, it's discovering the clever ideas employed by fellow caravanners to make their lives on the road that little bit easier. In early March, I was at the Hilltop Caravans National Gathering. I met a number of caravanners who were happy to share their great ideas with me, and I'd like to share some of those ideas with you as well. Now, Lena and Glenn Thompson are the proud owners of this Hilltop Grampian, and it's fair to say they've really made it their own. They had quite a number of ideas, but a couple really stood out to me. The first one was a little combination lockbox, which they'd secured to a discreet area on the offside of their caravan. The idea being it gives them a safe place to put their keys when they head off for the day. And I'm sure we've all heard of somebody who's managed to lock themselves out of their caravan because they've forgotten their keys or they've lost them somewhere. Well, by adding a little combination lockbox somewhere to your caravan, that can eliminate all those worries. Lena and Glenn also added a couple of 100mm PVC pipes to the rear of the caravan to carry things like poles and fishing rods. But what makes this idea unique is the special end caps that they've sourced for each 100mm pipe. Each cap is hinged and lockable and that makes accessing what's inside the pipe nice and easy and of course it keeps things secure. And what about this idea? This is from Daniel McMahon, the owner of a Hilltop Jindabyne. What he's done is add a king's temperature sensor inside his caravan so that he can monitor the temps inside both the fridge and the freezer. And that way he can head off any issues before food starts to spoil. But personalising your caravan doesn't always have to involve gadgets. If you're feeling creative, why not follow Graham and Ray Lee Campbell's example and laminate some pictures from your travels, stick them to the inside wall of your fold-down picnic table and hey presto, that's a great conversation starter for your next happy hour. Ron Galia is the proud owner of the very first Hilltop ever built, and he wasted no time in having an upholsterer customise this special stone protection for the front of his caravan. It simply slides into a sail track at the top front of the caravan, and there's a series of press studs on either side to stop it from flapping around in the wind as he's under tow. Now, Ron loves this Hilltop Hotham, and what a great idea to keep the front of the caravan looking like brand new. And finally, back to Lena and Glenn. Have you ever been caught out at a fruit quarantine station when trying to cross the border? Well, Lena's got a great tip. Why not process everything? Chop it all up, pop it all into a tray such as this one, nice and organized, and then put it in the freezer. By and large, frozen fruits and vegetables are allowed to go across our state borders. However, there are some exceptions, such as some grapes and onions, so the best bet is to jump onto Google first to make sure you're not going to be breaking any of our important quarantine regulations. Righto, I hope you found some of these ideas useful and why not leave a comment down below to share some of your ideas with your fellow caravanners. And as always, please give this video a like and if you're not subscribed to GoRV, well, we'd love to have you on board.